Hello everyone and welcome to my channel On The Hook Crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style. And today let's find out what's been on the hook. Well, on the hook I have a finished object that I want to show you here in just a couple of minutes. But first I want to answer some questions from uh, lovely ladies that have sent me some comments and some direct emails with some questions and uh, some happy mail that I received. So stay tuned and let's talk about those three things. First of all, let me answer some questions from ladies that have asked me um, all sorts of things on uh, my giveaways and my other uh, videos that I've put out. And I'd like to answer them. They're only not just a few. I just wanted to quickly address these in a video so you could see the answers and everybody would get the answer. So first of all, uh, my last giveaway video yesterday, I announced that I was giving away some linen yarn, number four, and it's very beautiful. Um, I don't like it. I don't know why. I've kind of whined about it in another video. <laughs> <laughs> and some of you ladies said to wash it and I just didn't want to go there so I'm going to give it away and I had a lot of people say they would love to have even the piece that I've actually started so they asked me how big it was and I should have said that on my video I didn't didn't think to do that so this is the hank that I had um, left over uh, from doing the part of the top that I had started and this is what it looks like if you didn't see the video i'm going to put a link to the giveaway video from yesterday so if you didn't sign up for the giveaway just hop over there and put a comment down you don't have to answer any questions just make sure you read the rules and say that you've read them and understand they're in the description box so you can't miss those this is the top that i started and it has a few rows of single crochet the rest is double done with a j hook so if you want to continue with this top, you can certainly do that, or you can frog it out. Either way, if you win this yarn. Now, this piece measures 20 and 1 half inches wide. So I was planning on a 41 inch hip um, measurement. So this, my hips plus a little bit of ease, and um, not much. <laughs> but anyway, it's, um, I didn't know if you would care to know that, but some women asked me what size it was, and I don't have a size. I just will tell you the measurement. That is my side seam to side seam measurement that I took for this particular sweater. And then I included ease in that. That means that I measure it, you know, fairly taut. And then I loosen up the measuring tape and that gives me the bottom of the sweater measurement for the back. And then I do the front the same way and then I sew them together. So that is the measurement 20 and one half inches wide. So if you win this, you will have that size sweater already started probably about half the back is done so you don't have to work too terribly hard and you can actually make a lavender and lace out of that uh, i'm sure there's plenty of yarn for that so just wanted to let you know that um, some people say that they're not members of facebook and i understand that i'm totally there and it's not for everybody if you want to send me a picture of your finished object i will put it on the facebook group and not put your name on it, put your name on it. I've had people do all different ways. So just tell me if you want your name on it or your face in it. And I can, I can crop out your face. I don't like doing that. I like for people though to model their piece, not send it to me on a hanger. I want to see it on you. And I know some people don't want to have their picture taken. So just have somebody take your picture from here down or do a selfie and don't show your face. You can do that. And that way you won't be in the picture, but the sweater will be on you and people can see how it fits. And that's really important because this particular pattern outline does not have any measurements as far as sizes go. Uh, it has particular stitch counts and things like that just for the neck. And those are all also changeable if you need to change them. So uh, they're just kind of an outline, just like what I call it. It's an outline and it shows you how to measure, how to fit, and the sweater will fit you and no one else. That's what it's for, the outline is for. So if you haven't asked me for that, um, send me um, your email address to my email address, which is down below, and I will attach a PDF free pattern outline for you for the lavender and lace top. And I'll also put a link to that video down in the description box so you can 
um, go there and watch that video because it talks all about how I made it and all the pieces and how I put them together. So you might want to watch that in addition to getting the pattern outline. Uh, the two in combination should make it fairly easy to put one of those tops together for yourself. The third question I had was the description box and some people have said where do I find your email address? And I say the description box and they'll say, well, where is that? Okay, so here's where it is. If you are on an iPhone, well, I'm, you know, actually recording on my iPhone, so I can't show you, but on the iPhone, right below the video, the title of the video appears right here. And um, I think it's the name of my channel on the hook crochet and just to the right of that There's a tiny little down arrow. You don't even really notice it I don't know why they do that, but on a phone. It's not as obvious as it is on a computer But you just click that little down arrow and a whole section will open up and it will have links to products that I've talked about in my videos other videos that are similar to the ones that I'm showing you and my playlist, things like that, are all in the description box, including my email address and how to join the Facebook group. All that is in the description box. So drop down there and take a look at it because I talk about each video in there and all my links are there. So if you're curious or interested in looking at some of the other items, they are in the description box. If you're on your computer and sometimes on a tablet, it will say show more down below the name of my channel right there below the video is that with the title and then it'll say show more click that and it opens up that description box so go there and take a look because um, most of us youtubers put a lot of work in that description box and some people never look at it because maybe they don't know how to get to it so that's how you get to it the second thing I wanted to tell you about was some happy mail that I received. I don't receive very much happy mail and that's fine. I'm not into all that, but I had a uh, subscriber who also has a channel and her name is, um, her name is Laurel and she goes by Rel, R-E-L-L. She's a subscriber to my channel and her channel is called The Dabbling Hook. And she said she was watching the Elena Scarf episode. Okay, well this is the Elena scarf and I just happened to be wearing that today when I had already had this plan to show you the happy mail I received from Rail. But this is the Elena scarf and I made this out of a DK weight, beautiful hand dyed yarn and I'm just really pleased with it. I've said that too many times probably, but I really, really like it. And I've been wearing it all day today. It is, you know, in the 80s out there and I've been in and out of my car running errands and I haven't gotten hot the first time. Now this knit shirt is a long sleeve shirt and a lot of times I'll just push the sleeves up and wear it as a three-quarter sleeve and it's a chartreuse color and in this actual yarn colorway, excuse me, sorry about that, there is a chartreuse kind of a color in there. It's a little bit of a yellow greenish color and so I picked that out and I'm wearing my chartreuse top with it which I wear quite often. I've also turned the top down like a collar. I've turned this down and I'm wearing it in my way of wearing it is backwards. <laughs> but sometimes I'll do this because if you wear it in front and you're bending over doing a lot of active work and all that, sometimes it'll get in the way. And this actually stays tied. It's only tied with one tie, if you can see that. I only did it once and it just really stays together. And I'm wondering if it's not the pico edge that I put on this because it kind of locks in there when you tie it. If you'll notice that, when you pull it, it stays where you put it and I don't know if that's the reason or if it's just maybe the yarn that I made it out of I don't know but this has a pico edge and I've shown this to you before but I really like it you just do three single crochets and then you do three chains and connect the chains at the base of the chain and then you keep going with single crochet and do a pico that's pretty standard pico edge um, on this scarf now I made it by this pattern the Elena triangle scarf. It's a wonderful pattern. It's beautifully done. I love that coral. I probably need to do one in that color. I really like that. That's beautiful. I've made a lot of notes on here as you can see. <laughs> and I make something out of a pattern. This is what I do. I will write down the yarn that I use to make it and I just put DK on here because I've got this in my closet. I know what it looks like. 
but sometimes I don't know what the weight of the yarn is. So I wrote DK H hook 200 yards, and that tells me exactly what I need to make this again. And that's a little hint for later on in the video. But anyway, back to my happy mail. Um, Rail says that she saw the Elena Scarf episode, and she said, you mentioned that you only have two special stitch markers, which is true. I only have two, and I can only use one. I got the little elephant stitch marker from Knit Crate last month, and I was kind of thrilled because I could actually use that on crochet instead of just knit. So I was tickled to have it, and I actually used it on the um, sweater that I'm creating right now and doing a pattern outline for and I'm using it on that and it's so cute every time I pick it up I really think it's cute I really like it so she was inspired she says in her note to send me a set of stitch markers whoa I just got real excited when I saw these and so what I've done is she's got them on a business card and I want to show these to you I have labeled what they are above them so you can see what they are these are stitch markers with hook sizes on them so that when you put a project down and you don't pick it up for a while and you use one of these stitch markers you'll know what size hook you need so you don't have to put the hook in with the project because you're always looking for that hook for another project so it's better to keep your hooks all in one spot so if you use these you'll know which hook to pick up next time you go to work on that project now she sent me H, I, J, and K, and then the, mi the middle one here, if you can see that, is her, sig nah, sorry, is her signature stitch marker. I love it. It says the dabbling hook on there. It's very, very cute. And thank you, Rel. That is so cool. She has an Etsy shop. You probably already know this. You can get to it by typing in the dabblinghook.etsy.com and go directly to her Etsy site. She's also on Facebook and Instagram as The Dabbling Hook. And her email is dabblinghook at gmail.com. And she'll do custom orders for you. So thank you so much, Rail. I am thrilled beyond measure. It came in a little bitty bag here. So cute. I appreciate your sending that to me. I, I really I appreciate that. Now, back to our video and the finished object. And I'm going to put this on and model it for you. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm wearing a new scarf. And I love this scarf. This is another Elena scarf, but Elena triangle scarf. It's a little bit different color. It's, it's also a DK yarn. It's very beautiful. I got this at a yarn festival at a booth called Calico Yarns. And there it is, it's her little card. And it was, um, it's all wool. It's actually 100% superwash merino wool, DK weight, 231 yards on the hank. And the colorway is rainbow trout. So beautiful. It's got some really beautiful colors in it. And they're almost as, almost, I mean, they're very similar to the Elena scarf that I made, but look at the difference. This is more of a blue tone and this is more of my tone. <laughs> I'm really liking this warm color that uh, looks really good on this shirt too as well. I can wear them both with this top, but I just, um, I like these colors. I just like these warm colors. And uh, let me show you one more time. This is, um, it has some yellow in it and a little bit of this rust color. So I'm really liking that. And it's all kind of blends in together. Now, I used the Elena triangle scarf pattern for this, but I put a different edging on it. And I wanted to show you that because it's one that um, I did. Uh, I, I did not do the edging that was in the pattern. Uh, as I am prone to do, I changed it. And so let me just show you this edging right here. And I'll just tell you how I did it. This is the edge of the shawl. I don't know if you can see that right here. This is the edge of the shawl. I did not put a row of single crochet along there. I started at the end and I actually started at the, the, the long end, but I'll just tell you how I did it. I chained three and then I chained another three and I went back three chains and connected with a slip stitch right there. And then I chained three more and then I single crocheted here and I skipped three chains here 
So it is chain six, connect three chains, chain three, and then skip three chains, and then single crochet. Um, if you run this back a time or two, I, you'll have it. It, it. You may not even have to do that. But I did that all the way around the edge, and it gives it a whole different look. It's a very open edging on here, and uh, it's got a little bit of a pico, which I really like right there at the end, but it also has little points that come out. So I thought that was kind of a different look. I didn't want it to look exactly like this one that I had on earlier today, so I made it a little bit different. But this is how much yarn I had left over from 230 yards. So really that looks like about 30 or 40 yards, and that would make it about 200 yards, which is what I made the other one out of. It was DK, this is also DK um, wool, and it's the same exact size as this one, 46 by 20 after blocking. So this has been on the block for a couple, three days, and I just took it off this morning. It was perfectly dry, and it laid very beautifully out, and it's the same size as this scarf. So I've made two just alike, except for the edging is a little different, and the colors are different, so I can wear it with different items. And this is very nice around my neck. It's not hot. I just can't imagine why I've never worn very much wool. Mostly probably, probably because I grew up in Florida, and wool was not a staple <laughs> item to wear. In Florida, it was mostly cotton, but I have expanded my horizons, and now I'm enjoying wearing wool, and it is in summertime. I can still wear it in an air-conditioned environment uh, where in some places are just too cold, and so there you are. You know, you're in an air-conditioned environment, and it's nice to be able to wear a summer top, maybe short sleeves or sleeveless, and wear uh, a scarf, and if your shoulders get cold, you can just pull it down over your shoulders. I did that in a restaurant the other day when I was out with my husband, and I thought, if I didn't have this scarf, I would be really cold. And he was just amazed that I had on a sleeveless top, but I was freezing because the air conditioning was so cold. So I took my scarf, and I opened it up, and I put it around my shoulders, and I was perfectly warm. So <laughs> I have to figure out how to stay warm in these air-conditioned restaurants. Anyway, I just wanted to bring those things to you today, and I hope you're having a wonderful week. I have received so many comments on my giveaways every Monday that um, I appreciate the, the, the beautiful writings that y'all do. I read, like I say, every word, and when I hit that heart, that means that I've read your entire comment. I've opened it up and read the whole thing, and some of them were so beautiful, and a lot of people liked this green yarn. I, it just amazed me. I didn't think I could give this away to somebody, but apparently somebody would like to have it. So um, that's going out the door. And I already have next week's giveaway um, selected. I have three more items, and I'll be traveling a little bit next week. So um, it may be Saturday before I can do the winter video, but um, I'll be in touch next week and let you all know. But this week, I hope you have a wonderful week, and I will, of course, be back on Friday with the giveaway winners, and we'll see who won these three items. So join me next time to find out what's on the hook.